Cincinnati's certified most accurate forecast. It's a new week and our forecast is not without its own concerns here going right into our Tuesday morning commute. I'm going to get right to that. Here's a live look outside right now. Things are quiet out there. It's gloomy. It's kind of an ugly evening because of the clouds that held pretty tough today, but that's just the beginning of what could be some of our problems for tomorrow. Here's the setup right now. We've got high pressure sliding across the Ohio Valley with cold air in place and when watching and keeping an eye on what's going to be a developing storm system. It really hasn't even organized yet out across parts of Nebraska and the Plain States that's going to quickly race it in our direction and bring us the potential for some snow tomorrow morning. Here's a look at temperatures again, plenty cold across the Ohio Valley for snow. However, we are going to see temperatures tomorrow creep their way above freezing and that then begins to complicate the forecast. So right now, here's kind of what we know about the scenario beginning tomorrow morning. I do expect temperatures to start below freezing in the morning and then gradually climb above freezing throughout the day. Here we go. Here's the biggest problem. It looks like this wintry weather will arrive during the morning commute and timing here. Of course, going to be critical. Your worst case scenario is we end up with a quick inch or two of snow tomorrow morning, and not only is it in the grassy areas, but also it impacts roadways maybe early on tomorrow morning before those temperatures climb enough above freezing that we start to see a lot of that melt away. It easily could be a situation where we're talking about snow here, and I'm thinking a slushy inch or two, mainly in the grassy elevation elevated areas because temperatures will be above freezing. Either way, I would play it safe and probably factor in a little bit of extra time for tomorrow morning's commute and at least keep in the back of your mind. Hey, you know what? If schools are canceled or delayed based off the timing of the arrival of the wintry weather, you might want to go ahead and consider that babysitter or what you're going to do there for the steps thereafter. So again, a lot of question marks in the forecast. This isn't a big storm, but it could be impactful based off the timing. 34 degrees right now at the airport. We've got ourselves a west wind at this hour. Most of us are pretty close to freezing here this evening. 31 Springboro, Hillsboro at 33, 29 in Oxford, and then mid 30s there at Brooksville over towards Falmouth. I don't see any problems around here this evening or tonight. Temperatures will hover in the 30s as clouds linger with chilly conditions. Now here's a look at Futurecast. It's quiet overnight. Here's midnight. And then as we march our way towards the morning commute, you notice we start to see snow develop, even a little bit of maybe a wintry mix developing. This is around 730. So if you leave early, I don't see much in the way of any real problems out there. However, watch how the model really fills in the area with snow during the morning hours tomorrow. And just to show you how critical temperatures will be, there certainly could be a cutoff in our southernmost communities where temperatures are actually warm enough where it's plain old rain. This computer model in particular wants to keep it snowing through the mid morning before wrapping up around lunchtime. Again, right now I see a scenario where we certainly could have snow, but temperatures are above freezing, so it's not accumulating everywhere. Either way, we begin to clear out Tuesday night and boy, bitter cold settles in here for the second half of the week. So overnight tonight, 30 with clouds lingering. And again, we'll probably see that wintry weather beginning to develop towards daybreak tomorrow morning, a wintry mix. But here's the critical part of the forecast. We go up into the mid 30s tomorrow, so that could help us out quite a bit. Here's your seven day forecast. Enjoy the relatively mild weather tomorrow at 37 because boy, once we go below freezing tomorrow night, we won't climb back above. I felt like I said this last week into the weekend. So that means the rest of the week will be in the deep freeze here. Notice Wednesday, Thursday, 19 for a high and then Thursday night six for a low. Just something to think about if we do manage to pick up an inch or two of snow tomorrow. Those temperatures could actually be a little bit on the warm side. Kevin's wondering why he hears ah, oh, and then the other one says ah. Oh. <laughs> it's because six degrees uh, that definitely no, gets your attention. No, it's because the possibility of a snow. Oh, that's. I